Hello and welcome. Thank you for joining me here. My name is Tara and I'm going to talk about manifestation. Now only one aspect of manifestation because it is a very broad topic and there is a lot to talk about with regards to manifestation, what it is, how to do it, what works, what doesn't work. And there is a lot going around on the internet with all these hacks and tricks and little tips that you can follow to manifest what you desire. Now, I'm sure many of them work for a lot of people, depending on where they or where you are at during your journey. For myself, I tried a lot. I was very open. I tried many different things. I like to try things out, give it all, give it all I can to see if it actually does anything, to see if it works for me. I truthfully found that, well, you know what I'm going to say, if you know my channel and you know my work, the moon, working with the moon cycles, the lunar cycles was the most powerful and also the most helpful for understanding myself, understanding what I needed to do and change in order to create the manifestations that I desired. This is one of the biggest uh, topics that I enjoy sharing information about. This is one of the things I teach. This is the one, thing, one of the things I specialize in because I have spent a lot of time working with manifestation, the law of attraction. And I've really come to a point where I have a pretty good idea of what works, what doesn't work. And again, the aspect of us learning about ourselves and having to change within us first before we get our big ask as our reward. If you've been following my channel, if you know my what I talk about, then you know what I'm going to say when I say that it all starts within, it all starts here. So when we are ready from a place within, then our outer world is going to reflect that. So we have to be prepared to do the work on ourselves first, and then the outer world will reflect that. And also too, when we are manifesting, even if we do simple tactics on our own without using the lunar cycles, using just our mind, projecting what we want, there still is work involved in that, our belief system, believing that we can actually track that, believing our worth, believing that um, we can attract that relationship that we desire and really feeling into it. And a lot of the times our belief system and our old programming gets in the way of fully achieving what we desire. Now in this particular video, I'm going to share some information about what might be happening if your manifestation is not showing up for you. If you're trying to manifest, if you've been manifesting for some time, if you have found that nothing has been working for you, then this is something very important that I don't feel a lot of people are really talking about. I feel that there's a lot of information going out around the internet with regards to the tips, with regards to the secret, with regards to um, quick and easy uh, suggestions for manifestation. But in reality, a lot of it takes time. A lot of it does. And depending on where you are at, depending on your journey, it might take longer than others. It might happen really fast. So, and depending on what you want too, depending on if you want a full, complete rehaul in life, you have to be prepared for things to take time. And there is a lot happening that we can't see when we are manifesting because we're putting the energy out there into the universe. The universe and the energetic um, motion is doing its thing. It's working its magic in the unseen with other people, with other situations and within yourself. So again, there are many, many, many layers to this practice and to your journey when you're manifesting and when you're working with the law of attraction. So patience is hugely important. However, you also have to be prepared to know that you are on a divine destined plan. You have some kind of plan that has been predetermined before you came on this planet. We all do. We all do. But when you start to manifest, when you start to become a conscious creator of your reality, of your, your world, your universe, then you're starting to align with your divine plan. You're starting to be conscious about the creations that you want to create that you feel in alignment with. And that is, that is when we start to align with our divine destiny. That's when we start to align with our divine plan. Now, there are many things that play out with what I just said as well. It's not just exactly what I said. And then that's just as it is, it is, that is multi-layered, multi-layered on its own. It, it requires a lot of discussion because you have a divine plan. There are going to be challenges. There are going to be things that are going to show up that aren't part of your plan. They're just occurrences that we just need to work through and we need to understand and we need to um, evolve through and make some changes accordingly from those certain situations. And that's normal. There are going to be some challenges that will show up in your life that you're meant to go through, that you're meant to uh, experience as part of your growth. That's what your soul signed up for. 
to experience something, something unique, to experience something to learn through and to maybe even heal, maybe even to heal past wounds, ancestral wounds, family wounds, be part of something in society, be part of something in the greater landscape of our collective change that's happening right now. So whatever your path is, everyone's different. Every story is different. Some people might get their manifestations right away. Some people, it might take years. So we all have to be prepared to know that our journey is unique. Depending on what we are signed up for, it may take longer. It may happen faster, but we also have to be open for adaptability and to know that there's sometimes a cosmic plan to our story and to our experience. And even if we are in alignment with our future self and see our future and know what we are directed towards and what we see again as our accomplishments and who we are in the future self, it still may take time because there may be some things that you need to go through and that is part of your divine plan. And that is a little bit frustrating too. And this is something that I'm working through as well because I'm very clear with my future. I can see everything. I can see all of the details. I know it perfectly. I know exactly what's going to happen is the outcome, but I have no idea how it's going to play out or how it, the steps are going to line up for me to get there. I have to be open for that, but I have to keep also working in alignment to what feels right for me to uh, get me to where I want to go and what feels good for me, what feels um, in alignment with my purpose, essentially. But also too, because I see my future and because I'm already projected into my future self and I know where I'm going more or less, things have been taking a long time and there have been moments of frustration, but I know that there is something bigger playing out that I have to be very patient with. And I know patience is the last thing we want to hear when we are working really hard towards something and not seeing the results. And I know it's really frustrating and I know it can take a long time, but if you are going through this process and if you're frustrated, try and look at what has changed within you uh, in the last while, since you've been manifesting, since you've been working towards something, what has changed within you and what is starting to change in your outer world? And it may be a slow process, but your bigger ask might be quite a big ask, which is good and fine. And I always encourage that. But sometimes when we tap into our future self and we see that, we might want it now. We might want it right away. And it might get frustrating because there has to be this process that's understood for us to get there. And yes, it can be long. It can feel very drawn out. It can feel like it's not happening and it can feel very frustrating, but you have a cosmic plan and you may have to go through some things before you reach it. And some things you may not have discovered yet. And some things that you may not have realized yet because we know what we want. We know who we are. When we start doing this work, becoming a conscious creator. We start to align with our purpose. And that also takes a whole other learning opportunity to be confident in that, to claim our confidence, to claim our power, to step into our authentic self, to be clear, to cut the, cut the noise out, you know, to cut maybe some, some of our history out as well and to readjust to what we want and who we are and what we feel drawn towards. And that whole process takes a long period of time. And if you're going through that process, respect the process because that is a huge part of it. And if you're going through transformation on that level where you're literally redoing your life, you're really starting over from scratch in some kind of way or making some adjustments or aligning really with who you are, that is a process that really needs to be honored on its own because it is a very important piece of you lining up with your future, the future that you want, the future that you feel called towards, the future that you feel in alignment with, and the future that exists. And it takes a lot of courage to do this. It does. It's easier to just let things happen, but it's not as fulfilling. So it is a little bit of a double-edged sword. And sometimes I almost think, well, I wish I could just, I wish I could just have it easy. And I wish I could just you know, have it simple, but I know that it would not be as fulfilling as the path that I'm on and moving into a direction that I feel called towards. You can't go wrong. You can't go wrong, but it's not easy. No, but it will be more fulfilling. So know that if you are not seeing the results right away, sorry, there's an alarm going off somewhere in this building. Um, if you are not seeing the results happening right away, Try and look at all the layers that have been changing, the realizations, the change in perceptions, 
the change in maybe your emotions or your mind, um, maybe even letting go of relationships or situations that don't serve anymore. Uh, take note of everything because it all is adding up to your bigger ask, to your success story and success in all areas of life, personal development, spiritual development, relationships, love, career and success and abundance, everything. So there are many different layers, but of course, most importantly, you have a destined plan. There's something cosmic playing out. There's something bigger playing out as well that you have to experience. And even if you run into challenges along the way, they are there for you to maybe even dig deeper, maybe even challenge yourself, maybe even get to the point where, you know what, I'm really tired of this. I'm frustrated with this. Something needs to change and to make change happen and to push yourself to push yourself out of a comfort zone, to push yourself and to dig a little bit deeper, to transform more, you know, whatever this is. So I'll leave it with you. I hope this is resonating and finding you when you need it the most. And I will be seeing you soon. Until then, take care.